So in this video, we're going to be looking at redox reactions, how we can determine what substance is being oxidized and what substance is being reduced itself as well. Now, oxidation and reduction are two key definitions that we need to know about. And oxidation is basically the loss of electrons where our oxidation state is going to become more positive and reduction is going to be the gain in electrons where our oxidation state is going to become more negative itself. Now, looking at our reaction that we've got over here, we need to be able to assign what's being oxidized and what's being reduced, right? And starting off, right, you can see I've got calcium on the left calcium on the right on the left it's going to have an oxidation state of zero because it's uncombined whereas on the right we've got calcium two plus as iron and so we know the oxidation state is going to be plus two itself if we were to look at that we can see the numbers getting more positive and so we know calcium is actually going to be oxidized in this case Looking at the next atom, right, we've got hydrogen. Hydrogen over here is going to be plus one in terms of its oxidation state. Whereas over here, combined to an identical element in hydrogen gas, we have a zero oxidation state. That number's getting more negative, and so we know our substance is being reduced. Hydrogen is being reduced. If we were to look at chlorine, right, chlorine's going to have a minus one oxidation state over here. And then over here as an ion, you've got chloride, which has a charge of minus one, and hence a oxidation state of minus one as well. Nothing's really happening to it. So we can just leave that as it is so in terms of our element being reduced then we can just go with hydrogen now you do also need to be able to write half equations which you'll come across in year two in more detail but because you've already done this at GCSE, we need to think, okay, I've got calcium. Calcium has been oxidized, so I'm going to have an arrow, and I'm going to show calcium 2 plus being formed by losing two electrons. We've got the loss of electrons over here. That's our half equation for oxidation. If we were to look at reduction, right, we've got H plus. Technically, over here in HCl, we've got H plus, and that H plus is going to gain an electron, and that's going to form hydrogen itself. We do need to make this balance, so we need two lots of hydrogen plus hydrogen and then we need two lots of electrons itself as well and there i've got two balanced half equations altogether right now if we were to look at two more complicated terms right you might also come across something called an oxidizing agent right and you might also come across something called a reducing agent now an oxidizing agent is a substance that is reduced in a redox reaction and by being reduced it oxidizes something else that's why it's called an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent is a substance that is oxidized in a redox reaction and so by being oxidized it reduces something else itself now in this case over here our substance being oxidized is going to be calcium and so we can say that's going to be the reducing agent because these two electrons over here are going to go ahead and help hydrogen plus ions be reduced to form hydrogen gas itself now at the same time right them two hydrogen plus ions they're going to take those two electrons right from calcium and so by doing that right hydrogen is actually going to be acting as a oxidizing agent itself so we need two things together we need something to be reduced something to be oxidized and the stuff being oxidized is going to help the other stuff being reduced and the stuff being reduced is going to help the other stuff being oxidized in other words now moving on you might actually come across different questions that come along with these types of oxidation state changes and they they could include explaining in terms of the number of electrons transferred whether a substance is being oxidized or reduced now in this first example over here we're asked to explain in terms of the number of electrons transferred whether calcium is going to be oxidized or reduced well we know calcium is going to lose two electrons and so we know it's going to be oxidized this is how we actually word it in the exam itself if we were to explain in terms of the number of electrons transferred whether hydrogen is oxidized or reduced we know hydrogen has been reduced why because each hydrogen has gained one electron now remember if you're dealing with oxidation state changes or with the number of electrons being transferred you always need to talk about one atom right so we wouldn't put two electrons itself looking at the next type of question that we can actually get right we can be given a reaction and we could be asked using oxidation numbers to actually explain why this reaction involves both oxidation and reduction now just remember that oxidation numbers is going to be the same thing as oxidation state and we need to talk about the change in oxidation state for one atom so calcium it goes from an oxidation state of zero to plus two which we know we know hydrogen goes from an oxidation state of plus one to zero and so we know calcium is oxidized and hydrogen is going to be reduced itself as well. And that's how you can get another three marks in another redox reaction style question. So moving on, right, feel free to pause the video and have a go at this question.
So yeah, we're told some information that carbon monoxide can be made in the laboratory by heating a mixture of zinc and calcium carbonate, right? We're given a balanced equation over here as well, which is very important. And we're told that this is going to be a redox reaction and we're asked to deduce which element has been oxidized and which has been reduced itself as well, stating the change in oxidation number in each case as well, right? So starting off, looking at zinc, right? We work our way left to right. Zinc is going to be zero over here because it's uncombined and then it's going to be plus two over here if oxygen must be minus two right so straight away we can see we've got oxidation state from zero to plus two so we know zinc is going to be oxidized remember oil rig right oxidation is loss and then reduction is gaining electrons itself so the element oxidizes zinc and then we know it's going from zero to plus two itself and that's for one mark the next bit, right, we're going to look at calcium in this case, which is going to be plus two over here. Over here, it's going to be plus two as well, right, because they're both ions in this case. And so there's no change in oxidation state, so we can leave that and move on. If we were to look at the next one, right, we've got oxygen in a carbonate ion. Carbonate ion, remember, it's CO3, two minus. We've got an overall oxidation state of minus two. Oxygen's at minus two itself, minus six overall for all the oxygens. How do I get from minus six to minus two? I'm gonna to have to have plus four for carbon itself. Now looking at the right hand side over here, I've got minus two for oxygen, so I must have plus two for carbon itself. Now I can see over here that carbon is actually going to be reduced, looking at going from plus four to plus two itself. So carbon is gonna be reduced because the oxidation state goes from plus four two plus two itself the numbers getting more negative so we know we're gaining electrons two electrons to be specific in this case and there's another mark there right moving on right feel free to pause the video and have a go at the following so yeah in this question right we're dealing with uh, aluminium over here and then sulfuric acid to form aluminium sulfate and then hydrogen gas itself so i've got here aluminium which is zero over here but over here it's going to be plus three right now looking at the next part right i've got hydrogen h plus and h2so4 that h plus is going to have an oxidation state of plus one and then this hydrogen over here is going to have an oxidation state of zero itself so if that's the case right i know going from zero to plus three i'm going to have my aluminium be oxidized going from plus one to zero right the numbers getting more negative in this case i know hydrogen is going to be reduced so in that case right i know aluminium is being oxidized from zero to plus three and i know hydrogen is going to be reduced from plus one to zero itself I don't need to look at sulfate itself, this sulfate bit over here in the acid. The reason why is because sulfate, right, it's going to be unchanged going from left to right itself. The only thing I'm interested in in this case is aluminium, hydrogen, aluminium, and then hydrogen here as well. 